What's up, YouTube? It's Goyo379 here. Uh, today I'm going to be bringing you a Dan Rabbit deck profile. Uh, sorry I haven't been posting many Yu-Gi-Oh! related videos, but uh, I haven't been liking the game as much because it's, like, way too diverse, and there's way too many powerful cards and decks out there, and I don't like that that much. But, um, so I've been playing Magic the Gathering a lot more, and I wanted to know if you think it would be a good idea uh, to make this channel into, like, a dual channel. Not, like, dual card game, but, like... Dual as in two. So I would do Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic Gathering videos. So if you think this is a good idea, post it in the description. Or, not the description, the comments. Yeah, whatever. Um, so this is the Dino Rabbit deck that I've been playing for a while, and I like it because I don't like playing Macro, because Macro sucks, because it only stops one deck, and now it kind of hurts the Fire Fist. But uh, Desmond Boyd helped with this list, but I changed it up to help fit my playstyle and stuff. So, um, yeah, I guess I got through all that, and now I can show you the list. Three Saber Source, you play Dino Rabbit. And then three Cabazals, because you play Dino Rabbit. And they're very dinosaurs, so. Uh, and then three of this card that people, that I don't like. A lot of people like it, but I hate it. But you have to play because of this format. Three Guaiba. Now, I, when I play against uh, the Mirror Match, or not the Mirror Match, I was playing Windows before this, I would play uh, Rabbit against Rabbit, and people would complain if they drew, like, two normals, or if they drew even one normal, if they drew two Guaibas. And I didn't argue with them, because I don't like arguing with players when I play against them. But, um, like, they are gonna draw normals. You play four Rabbits and Tori, guides, six normals. You're gonna draw them. And that's, and if you want to play the deck, you have to learn how to play in the grind game. So, I hate when people complain about that. Like, if you're going to play the deck, be ready to draw normal and learn how to play with them. Because, like, and even in the games they would win. They would have, they'd be like, oh, I drew two normals. And I'm like, yeah, and you won because of that. Because you protected them with traps and you grinded. And it was just like, whatever. I'm not going to rant anymore. Uh, two rabbit, because this deck is rabbit. So, I'm going to play rabbit. Uh, two Torgads. Uh, Torgad gets Rabbit Levy or stuff. It's another power card. Gets you your Sangan and your Night Assailant because you need the second target because you go Torgad and then. Like, you can't go Torgad, Torgad, and only Torgad once because Torgad's way too good. Uh, two Maxi and two Valor. Uh, I like the hand traps right now just because it. Against. Uh, I'm going to go on a little thing, but against, like, uh, let's say, Rabbit. What's better, Macro or Hand Traps? Obviously, Hand Traps. I don't care if people don't like these against them. I love Hand Traps versus Rabbit. It, when I summon Rabbit and summon Maxis, I hate that. So I just love having Hand Traps versus that deck. Versus Windups, Macro sucks. Or it's okay, but these are just way better. Against Waters, Macro is better, but these can do stuff. This stops um, um, Megalo and D.Va. And then this changes to the sphere for a plus one. I like this a lot against waters. So, and then against the fire fist, this isn't so good. But this, uh, but this, that you can hit the rabbits. And then this stops their monster effects. So macro uh, stops their monster effects too. But it stays. But I still like these more because they're better in more matchups. So, and if you think about this, windups are the hardest matchup for this deck. And if you're playing the macro version, your opponent is not of rabbit, then you're gonna lose. So, but they're and you're playing you play against mermels, you're gonna win. So that's one out of three decks. If you if against a uh, wind up and rabbit, you want to have the better matchup, and then uh, you can side into the macros because you already have a really good matchup against mermels without the macro, just because of Dolka and Guaiba and stuff like that. And I just like the hand traps a lot more. And um, if you want to argue against me about a macro is better, then uh, go right ahead. But I have way too many reasons not to play these over macro. So, yeah. Two Thunder King, because it's another monster, and with the hand traps, you want to have monsters to protect with the hand traps, because Rabbit's a very standalone deck, which is why the hand traps can help with it. Like, unlike windups where it's combos, so the hand traps won't help at all. Like, I summon Thunder King with the maxi, and he has crazy hard for windup speed. So, that, and it's it's important that I have cards to deal with Mermels because I'm not playing the macros. And then one Gores, because people don't expect Gores because they think you're playing macro, or they just think that Rabbit don't play Gores anymore, so they just attack into it, and I'm like, haha, gotcha. 
uh, two lands. Um, I don't like lands that much, but it's important right now. It just protects Golka, stuff like that. Uh, two space. I wanted to play a third because of the Fire Fist deck, which Lance is also good against, but it can't fit anymore. It's good, though. Obviously, it's MST. I don't need to explain that. I don't need to explain these ones, either. Oh, you might also notice this is just random, but my deck's not that shiny. It's because I didn't want to shiny it out. Whenever I play Rabbit, I, I want to have, like, it cheap and common and stuff. But, um... My my shiny deck is my wind-up deck, which I don't have on me. A Pokemon, because I hate this card so much, but it's actually good because you go summon grab attack, wind up rabbit, they effect, and then you book it, which is what I like doing. That that's like the only thing the card's ever done for me, but that's something important. Avarice, because I don't like playing the macros, because I want to play this card, because this card's important, because I like wasting all my monsters in this deck, so then this lets me put them back. Uh, for traps. Uh, three Fiendish Chain, uh, this is a proxy because my other two Fiendish Chains are in my wind-up deck, which, like I said, is not with me. Now, I hate Fiendish Chain, just like I hate Guaiba and kind of hate Lance, but right now I feel like Fiendish Chain is going to be one of these trap cards that people aren't playing, but it's going to make a comeback because I'm going to go through the reasons. First, wind-ups. Everyone knows this card's good against wind-ups because they use monster effects, that's the whole deck, so you stop them. Against Rabbit, this card isn't that great because the normals are normal, but it can stop the tour guides and stuff. But this, the, these get sided out against that, so that's the one thing. Against uh, the Fire Fist deck, they go summon their monster, tribute their spell, pop something, and then you fiendish chain, and then you summon Guaiba and beat over, and it's great. And then against Mermels, they uh, you have this set. They pitch Marksman and something else for Megalo. Target this with Marksman. You chain it, negate the Megalo's effect, and it doesn't get popped with the Marksman. And you can stop D.Va, and it's just actually great, especially in this deck with the Guaibas and everything. So I love Fiendish Chain. Um, if you're, or I don't love Fiendish Chain, but I think it's going to be really good this format. So I suggest trying it out. Two Bottomless, uh, obviously. Two Warning, obviously. Uh, two Deep Prison to stop attacks because of the Garunix. Now you got to play that over Mirror Force, even though I like Mirror Force more than Judgment because you have to... And especially in this deck, opening double judgment first turn is great. So I'll just push that to the side. The extra deck I'm not going to show. Obviously, like, you got your standard Lagia, Dolka, uh, Levier, Tim Tempo, Zen Mains, all that stuff. Play Acid Golem. Make sure you play Acid Golem. Always play Acid Golem. Uh, I don't have the extra deck on me because it's in my wind up deck that I'm lending out to someone. But, uh, yeah, extra deck. Obvious. Play Abyss Waller too. He's good. And then side deck, um, the side deck's going to change up a lot. I don't know. Some of these cards are definitely going to come out. I'm not sure yet. Uh, it's going to be a lot of work. Um, but that's what testing's for. So two Snowman Eater. I like this a lot because of the mirror match. Like I almost want to play a third because I think there's going to be a lot of mirror match with the macros and everything. So uh, right now two Snowman is fine though. Uh, two Fossil Dino for like heretics and wind-ups. Try and stop that shock lock. Uh, this is something probably going to come out. Uh, card, card D. Uh, this is mainly for one deck. Maybe you could side in against other decks, but it's for slow-paced decks like the Mirror Match, where gaining the advantage is important. So I like Card Card D because it's that plus one, because you're going to be going a lot of passing with the set Snowman, so you can summon this in between and just draw two. But this is probably going to come out for something more relevant that stops like the metal, like maybe a third Snowman Eater or something that stops. I don't know. Uh, that one, two Pod Dualities, because... I'm an idiot, or Desmond Boyd, one of the two. Same thing, though. Uh, but, like, nah, I'm joking, I'm joking. But this is actually important, because uh, you set it in with the other cards, and you can get to, like, your macros faster and stuff. So, and it, it lets you take out cards, like, against dragons, you don't want all the hand traps, so you got to take out stuff. Uh, two soul takers, because there are a lot of decks with big monsters, like rabbit and stuff. Third space, especially because of the fire fist. Three macro because you need it. Oh, I was gonna say that in the second def. Uh, what is this? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, well, there probably should be a second def or a first one defisher in here just because you want the fourth one. And then the last two cards, two dust tornadoes. Uh, normally I play like one dust tornado, but this time I'm playing two just because of that fire fist matchup and stuff. But don't say these in versus rabbit because you don't want a one for one when they have Lagia. 
uh, and wind-ups. But I'll, that's it for now. This is Goya379, wind-up deck, rabbit deck, not wind-up deck. Peace.